love you so much. I even went and got the live band. What up, what up, YouTube? What's going on? You know who it is. It's your man, Jay Shots here, back with another video. And today, you know what I want to talk about, man? Y'all see it on the screen. Y'all know what it is. It's that Battlefield, man. That Battlefield 5, bro. Man. <laughs> I just want to start off by thanking um, the first-person shooter gods for blessing us with a real... FPS game um, It's been a long Long time coming But I knew <laughs> Boy we needed this change man I Yo I'm sick of Call of Duty I'm so done I'm not even going to talk about how ass that game is That game is straight hot Dookie I don't even want to, like, waste my breath on that game. But anyway, as you can see, this game, um, yo, man, the, the graphics, the fluidity, the movements, uh, to me, I feel that the game runs smoothly. From the numerous games I've played, um, I don't know exactly how many games I have played, but I, it has to be, it has to be at least, like, 40 I've been I've been really playing this game since I bought it, um, and uh, yeah, I, I mostly get good lobbies. Everything is smooth. The hit detection is usually smooth. I don't really have any issues with that. Um, I haven't really run into many bugs or bugginess, which is good. Um, you know, so overall, game is is has been great for me. Um, the things that I don't like, uh, about the game, I can't really think of many, to be honest with you. I'm sitting here, I'm trying to think of it, and I'm not, and I'm not sponsored, I'm not trying to be a fanboy, like, I am a Call of Duty player. I've just recently gone back to Battlefield. I haven't really played, I mean, I played Battlefield 4, I played Battlefield 1, but I didn't really, like, go in, like, how I've been going in, you know, with this one. So, I'm I'm already could see I'm going to be playing this one a lot more. Mm, excuse me. Oh, man. Sorry about that. It's like 5 in the morning. I'm recording this, man. After work. But, uh... The game is just fun, man. That's That's really all that matters. Fuck the graphics. Let's just forget everything else about the game. What it all boils down to, for me, is the game is fun. It's fun to play. And that's what's important. I like the maps. I like the way that the game flows. I like the teamwork. Um, yes, you're going to get in games where you're going to have people that don't care about teamwork. They're not going to revive. They're not going to throw ammo. They're not going to throw health. They're not going to do none of that because they're lost. But for the most part, I get into a lot of lobbies where people actually play as a team. Um, and um, real quick, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not an expert at this game, so please, please. But what I would recommend is if you're, you're, you're first coming to this game and you're, you're coming from Call of Duty, you're coming from... The best gun to probably use would be that K-37, I think it is, in the support class. It's a light machine gun. It lasts like zero recoil. So it'll remind you of Call of Duty. You know what I mean? Um, even though y'all don't see me using that, I'm using, in Call of Duty World War II, they called this gun the Volk. So if you're familiar with that gun, this is pretty much the same thing. Um, with a little more recoil, not nothing crazy though, so you can manage it. All the recoils and most of the guns that I've tried out so far are really easy to master. Um, but I, I recommended that light machine gun because it just has none, and it already pretty much has a lot going for it. Like it has a sight for it and all that good stuff. But anyway. Um, this is just 
It really I mean, look at the dynamic map. That never gets old. Like, the destruction in Battlefield and the dynamic map never gets old. I, I just hope they never even get rid of that. I think that's so realistic. I think it's dope. It just, it, it emerges you into the game more um, for me. And this part right here is dope. I like this little bridge. And it's just a lot of little things that they really thought about. Like, they really gave, a, they give a lot of thought to the game. And... I know people are going to complain and say Battlefield is this and Battlefield. You can say what you want. This is my opinion. I feel like they put in a lot of little things that makes the game more realistic to me. Um, I mean, just from the sound of the weapons, from the sound of the chatter of the players. Um, I mean, it's just, it just feels more of a realistic experience. It looks more... Ooh, 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 excuse me. Looks more like a realistic experience. Feels more like a real ex realistic experience. Um, and yeah, man, it's just it's just a good game to me. I don't have any issues with it thus far. I will be playing this game heavily, um, and I will still be going back to Battlefield One because there's things about Battlefield One that I like, and that's what I love about games, um, shooters. I like when they have things that are so different from the other game that I want to go back to play those older games. You have to do that. And that's what game that's what people don't realize. When they say, Oh man, you know, all these new Call of Duties that they tried to do all this new stuff, yeah, it might be fuckery, but it made you appreciate the older games more. And when you go back to those older games, you really appreciate those older games when you go back. You know what I'm saying? Um, prime example. Um, I like to now go back to Ghost every now and again when I can find a lobby. There are things like I like going back and playing the hunt with the Honey Badger. That's a gun that is not in any other Call of Duty. You know, I know people will say, well, they have guns that are similar, but they don't have that gun. Same thing with Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1 has the horses, so I can go back to Battlefield 1 and go play um, Conquest and jump on a horse and hit niggas with the, the Shinobi, you know what I'm saying? I love that. I think that is so dope that I could just Ginsu niggas on a, on a horse, you know what I mean? So those little cool things that those, they, they really bring a huge dynamic to the game and it gives it replay value for me because i want to replay games that have something different when i could just sit there and think and say damn yo i remember when i was able to do xyz or i remember how this gun was when i used to run around with i used to feel like i was the man playing with this gun you know what i'm saying now i can go back to it i can go back to it i can play it and cool do my thing but um, back to Battlefield Five. Uh, I mean, what, what more? What more can I say? What more can I say about this game, man? It's it's just a dope game. I don't have anything negative to say about it. And I know people may say that's bullshit. You know, I guess as time progresses, I will find things that are negative about the game that I don't like. But right now, yeah. Nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. But the whole purpose of this this video is really just to be from come from a gamer's, not even just a gamer's, but like a casual gamer's experience. Cause I'm a very casual player, not a big YouTube guy either. My channel is damn near non-existent. So you know, just wanted to give my little intake. Anyway, that being said, I'm out. Peace.